Easter wouldn't be Easter without using any fish and chips. If you speak to your veg man and ask him what potatoes he recommends for chipping, he, you know, and if he's got any deals, you can usually pick up some good ones and even if they're bruised, just cut them along. Okay, so all I'm gonna do in here is I'm just gonna chop off the ends because obviously I wanna make a chip. I don't peel my potatoes because, you know, it's great to have a little bit of rustic in them as well. The great thing about this is that I'm using a fryer, but in the home, you're not gonna have an industrial fryer. You're gonna have maybe a saucepan, or as I say, a small little fryer pan, or if you're lucky enough to have one of those um, gadgets. What we're gonna do is, is either you take your vegetable oil or your rapeseed oil, okay? Put it on a medium heat first. And while it's on the medium heat, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna blanch off the chips um, or the potatoes, okay? And um, while that's blanching away, we'll start making up the rest of the, some of the tartar sauce. And the ingredients I've got here is I've got some of the garlic and ginger. I've got a hard boiled egg, some shallot, some capers, gherkins, and some mixed herbs. Just pop the mayonnaise into the dish, some of the garlic and ginger into there as well. I'm just gonna pop in probably about a good tablespoon of your chopped herbs, um, the capers, I've just got in there some gherkins and I'm, I'm doing this roughly by hand, okay, because I, I quite like the crunchiness with it. But the good thing about it, if you've got one of these handheld blenders and the attachments, you can actually put all these ingredients in there and just zap them up. Okay, but I quite like the crunchiness. So we're just gonna pop those into there. A little bit of shallot and the egg. I'm just gonna cut that into quarter. and then just roughly add that into there. And again, it doesn't need to be pretty because when you start mixing it in, the egg will break up. And the good thing about it is when you've got guests around and you've just had some homemade tartar sauce, they can taste the difference. And what, what you know, you just actually save yourself from chucking the stuff away. Okay, the great thing is now we're gonna make a batter. Now this is really, really good, quite simple. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop in my liquids and my egg first. So we're just gonna pop in the, the egg. I've got in some white wine vinegar. And again, the recipe and the ingredients are on the website, which you can download. And you're probably looking at about four tablespoons of white wine vinegar into there. I've just got some a little bit of water, which is just normal cold tap water. And I've just got some beer lying around. You know, if you've got a can of beer that you've opened up and you've not drank it all, which is highly unlikely, um, I'm just gonna pop in a little bit there. Now what this happens is with the beer, because it's got the yeast in it and it fizzes, it actually reacts with a lot of the corn flour to create the airiness and the lightness. So I'm just gonna mix this liquid in together. This fish is obviously a little bit more wet, so I'm gonna add in a little bit more corn flour and some more flour into there, just to thicken up the mixture. Because what I'm after is I'm after a batter. I'm just gonna leave that to one side, and then I'm just gonna start to see how my chips are doing. Okay, now the chips are blanched, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna whack up the fryer um, to around 180 on mine, but again, you're gonna put it up from a medium just to a slight high heat. Okay, now taking the fish fillets, you can either pop them into some seasoned flour, if you prefer, or you can actually just pop them into the batter as they are, okay? And then what we're gonna do is, just gonna leave that to one side, we're just gonna drop the chips into the hot oil. Okay, so then we're just gonna fry off the fish. And you really need to be careful when you're using, I'm using it obviously on a big industrial basis, but you need to pop your fish with the batter, and as you drop it into the fat, you need to go away from yourself. So the fat obviously isn't splashing up on you. Okay, and this is important that you do this and not your children. Okay, lovely. So we're just gonna leave that in there until that goes golden brown. While the fish is cooking, I'm just gonna start getting things ready. And it's just important just really to understand how much food we actually throw away. Because you're, you're roughly looking at, what, 50 pound a month per family, which is about 600 pounds on a yearly basis which is a lot of money. Give you a good holiday, that would. Okay, so the homemade tartar sauce, which we're just gonna pop on there. This is great. Okay, my clean hands. I'm just gonna pop these potatoes, these lovely little chippies, these rustic ones just on the side here. I'm just gonna pop that fish out of there. 
just going to pop this onto the plate like so and just take some fresh parsley if you want on the side there I've got lime you can use lemon whichever you prefer I'm just going to cut a couple of wedges squeeze over the fish and then just garnish on the side fantastic 